extending this area also. And I'm gonna pay special attention to these portions of the hood, especially around here on the inside, because really these are the areas that you see most when you uh, when you open the hood. Again, this is not a show car. Everybody who's been following my my blog, my Instagram knows that. But there's that's no reason not to really try to make it look as good as possible. I just like the uh, kind of the original factory look the sheen those parts had so that's my my whole thing is trying to emulate that and uh, to do that to the best of my ability without really going overboard I think yeah, Eastwood used to sell an underhood black a few years ago but uh, I looked on their website and they didn't they didn't really have it so I don't know if they discontinued it and uh, it got replaced by that uh, 2k I think it's called the epoxy paint which would be great really and uh, that would be especially good if I want to redo the, um, the uh, radiator fan because that thing gets pelted with all kinds of things all the time. So, um, but again, you know, it's like 30 bucks and then shipping is like an additional $10 or something like that. So, and I think it only lasts for, for so long because once you uh, introduce a catalyzer, of course, you're just, it starts the curing process. So if you don't use it all, pretty much either at, at one time or at least within, I don't know what they said, like 10 days or something like that, based on how hot the um, your garage or wherever you store it, uh, you're storing it gets, that um, it's no longer good. So, but anyway, I would like to experiment with that one, one day. We'll see. Anyway, I won't keep boring you with this sanding stuff, but anyway, I want to show you what it is that I'm doing. It's been about two hours sanding, cleaning. A lot of this paint is probably most of it that I applied when I wanted to kind of cover up some of the you know, imperfections, scratches. Um, comes off really easy with uh, some acetone. Actually, I've been using this goof off, which works really well. But again, it's been about two hours that I've spent out here. And, um, oh, and you know, I, I just, I was cleaning around here and then my glove got caught here and it kind of broke this, one of the sides of this uh, stud thing. So I'm gonna have to a way to fix that but um, anyway I think I made pretty good progress um, it is far from perfect and I'm not aiming for that but um, I just wanted to get a lot of these areas you know taken care of and I still have to give it a, a final sanding probably gonna wet sanding a little wet sand it a little bit and then um, let it dry thoroughly for some primer and paint. But anyway, I think it looks pretty good. And um, big difference from what I started with. So I'm really, I'm really pleased. I think it's gonna look really awesome once, once it's all, it's all done. I will also um, vacuum this liner, see if I can save it. It's pretty, pretty dirty, but um, anyway, that was my latest update. 
Hey guys. Well, it's the next day and uh, as you can see, I've been adding a little bit of glazing putty just to get rid of some obvious um, scratches and gouges and stuff like that. Totally um, optional, of course, and even around the edges and most of it will come off. I just, I wanted to um, detail it a little more, even though I, I've uh, already said that this is not uh, a show car. I just, you know, this is the time to um, take care of these little imperfections. So um, I'm gonna give it another sanding and uh, we'll see how it looks. I'm just doing a little wet sanding here. And again, this is just lacing putty, so I'm gonna end up removing probably most of it, but what remains is gonna really hide tiny little imperfections. And again, this is totally optional. I don't have to do this, but, and these edges here, are not finished very nicely to start with. So this may be overkill for someone who doesn't want to, or is not working on a show car, but still, you know, those tiny little details, for whatever reason, tend to uh, stand out every time you open the hood so but anyway just want to give you a little update i'm going to keep sanding this ledge it was just really ugly and i think well i know that paint is not gonna hide that so might as well just take a few extra minutes and uh, make it look as good as possible. And even places like this, you know, again, it's an improvement over what was here before, but uh, you gotta also know when to stop unless you're looking for a perfect edge, which is something that I'm not looking for. But anyway, that's it for now. Okay, so quick update. I wanted again to show you what I start with. I'm very kind of generous when it comes to the uh, glazing putty. And then This is, both sides look pretty much the same, but this is after all the sanding. And I'm using, uh, what, I think it's 300, 320. And I'm wet sanding this, um, this whole thing. And with the gloves, you can actually feel whenever something is it's kind of too high. So you see all of that is, is pretty much gone, except for the little pinhole there that was that was covered by the uh, placing party. Anyway, you get the idea. As I was telling you, it's most of it, like compared to this side here, most of it is gone, but it's super smooth. And you can see some of the uh, some of the um, glazing putty still in there, and that's its purpose. Maybe I applied too much here, but you know, whatever. This is the kind of result you want, because that indicates that you actually had little divots and little scratches, and now they're gone, for the most part. Again, you can keep doing this until you're an old person, but um, that is not my goal here. 
I, I still wanted wanted it to uh, to look great, and I think I'm I've uh, accomplished that goal with this with this portion and everything else that I've done so far. Well, it's a beautiful evening here in North Central Florida. I just want to show you what I've been doing. Yeah, I, got, I guess I, I got a little carried away with the uh, placing putty, and I just had a touch up a few little cracks here and there. But uh, I started sanding it. Again, I'm not going for the uh, show car kind of finish, but uh, I didn't I didn't want those cracks to be showing. I I have I have um, tomorrow I'm going to be sanding this this edge, and again it looks looks pretty heavy at this moment. But once I I get it down to the um, to the finished product, I think it's gonna. It's gonna be about this this much, which covers the edge, pretty pretty good. So that's it so far. I decided to go ahead and remove the uh, the hood hinges. We are on the bench. I have these. I don't know what to call these shims. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna. Clean them up, set them down, get a few coats of paint. So, so everything looks nice. I detail the bolts as well. I spent about an hour cleaning the hood hinges. To the best of my ability, the things were caked with dirt and old paint and over spray. So I think I'm gonna paint them, give it a few coats of, of black. They'll be ready to be reinstalled. <laughs> 